Okay, so welcome everybody. We're about to start today. Just to make sure you can hear me. Okay, then here we are. Okay, so we are start today with a. Uh... Okay, welcome to the course Conversiveness Module Personal Development with the code, as you already know, FG684. Today we are in our week number four, yes. And today's topic, today we're going to talk about, uh, you know, probably you might think, but why um, we're going to learn about knots. Yeah, it can be like a very simple topic, but let me tell you that. Uh, this is very important, you know. Did you know that uh, knowing how to make knots can save your life, yes? Your lives, yes. So that's why we're going to talk about it. Remember that the name of the course is Personal Development. So that's why each week we're having different, you know, topics. So for today, let's start here with our objective, objectives. Okay, so what are today's objectives? We're going to learn the main uses of knots. And also let's explain the different types of knots. Okay, so that is the topic for today. Okay, so here, as you already know, yeah, most of you know, what a what a knot is can you look at the picture if you don't know what's the meaning of knot okay what does it mean in spanish remember that via telegram i send you an application yes remember that i send you the application in there so there you just put it in here in front of your computer and it's going to translate it to spanish the presentation okay this is a knot yeah can you look at the picture this is a knot okay so most of you know already know what it what it is and here it says Knots. A knot is the placing of rope parts within themselves to bind objects together. Knots come from one or more ropes, cores, or other flexible materials. A knot is a structure made on a length of rope by twisting the rope around itself. Knots often bind the rope to itself or other objects. Yes, yeah, so we all, yeah, we are in our daily life, you know, we are always making knots. Since we were little ones, do you remember? Yes, we were, we were our parents. Yes, they taught us how to make knots. So that's why this is the topic for today. And here, then let's see how much a knot reduces the strength depends on three factors. You know, some of them are like stronger than the other ones. So, but that's why it depends, you know, on the three factors. And what are the three factors? It says the rope's material, yeah, because that depends if that is like a, a very, you know, thick or thin rope. So that depends on the material. Also, the type of knot created also, because hidden the material also it includes if that's going to be not a, a rope, but a string or a cable or another type of material that we can use, right? It's gonna be made of leather, of yarn or, Okay, so the type of knot created also is that it's thin or thick. And also the load placed on, on the rope. Yeah, that depends also why we're going to pull or depends on the use that we're going to give the knot. So that, that means with the load placed on the rope. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about history of knots. Yeah, knots were created uh, like, uh, a thousand and seven hundred years ago, you know, and also I was reading there that since the gorillas, you know, the animals, the gorillas, when they used to make uh, their their nest, so they used to to make yeah their nest, you know, through nuts. So they used to cut the branches from trees, and that was a way for them to build their nest through nuts. Imagine that how intelligent, how smart gorillas are because they used to make their nuts, right? Yes. And also we can use nuts in another, a, another different part, you know, in our lives and also nuts with uh, mathematics, but that is another, you know, complex, you know, like topic. Yeah, we're going to talk here for the most common uses of nuts, but in mathematics also, you know, also then, you know, for topology, they use them, they use a lot of formulas, okay, but that is for mathematicians. So they use this on our type of nuts, okay? But we're not going to talk about it because that is like, uh, more complex, you know, topic. We're going to talk here of the uses of nuts, you know, the ones that we use every day. 
Okay? So, here, what do we use nuts for? Yeah. So, here, what are the most common uses that we give to nuts? So, here it says that nuts have three main uses. Yeah, we can use them for a lot of things. Yeah, for touch. And then here, let's read the most common, you know, uses. So, here it says, to attach a rope to another object. And also, like a clear ring, stay, pole, or another rope. To bind objects. Also, for decoration, decorative knots usually bind themselves to create patterns. Okay, so as you can read here, this is the most common use, right? To attach here to another rope or to another object that you can look here, yes? We have the rope that is attached here to a love. Okay, and also for decoration, you know, for in China, they have just like a, that is a method or an art that they have that is called a knotting, knotting. And that is the art for them, you know, to make uh, this type of decoration to knots. Yes, yeah, so they made the knots for decorative, you know, articles that are called like macrame as well. So here, as you can, okay, we're going, I'm going to show you there more of the, the ones that they make. And those are really beautiful, but they use them for decoration. And also here to touch, to bind the objects, you know, to pull or to push in that case. Or a, the most common, right, to bind, to bind objects. As I told you before, you know, since we, we were like little ones, we learn how to tie our shoes. Yes, how to make knots in our shoes. For some of you, probably it um, could be like a very difficult, you know, uh, art or technique to do it. But finally, we learned, and now we, we have to teach our children. We have how to make knots. Okay, now here it says. So, what are the uses for knots? As you can read here, okay. So these are the three uses, and also here we're going to see uh, what profession or jobs or where we, we are going to include the nuts in our daily lives. So here it says, outdoor activity. Those who take part in outdoor activities need to tie knots. And also here, you know, this is very, very, very important because in here, if you don't know how to make knots, yes, a, probably you might fall or sometimes you might like have an accident. So it avoids, it helps us to prevent falling down. So here, a, so for, for outdoor activities, I think that this is a, the most, you know, like uh, professional jobs or activities where they require to make knots. So for sailors, yeah, when they use uh, in the ships, so they used to make a lot of knots. For campers, if you have you ever, I don't know if you have ever like going camping, yeah, for the ones who have uh, gone camping, so you know that in that case, you need to learn how to make knots. For mountain climbers, the same. Yes, look at the picture here. For hikers, yeah, hikers, people who look like walk, yes, hike. And for Boy Scouts, scouts, scouts in here, just as you can look at the pictures only here. They, yes, if you have had the opportunity to be part of a scout, I, I bet you know how to make nuts because you have learned different. There are a uh, hundred, you know, types of nuts, yes? Because that depends also on the strength, so the type of nut that you're going to make. Any here for uh, cavers and fishermen. If you love going fishing, in that way, you also are going to need how to make nuts. Okay, so for outdoor activities, in this case, those are very uh, useful, how to know how to make them. Okay, also, let's see here, for medical use, look at this, we have another. For medical use, okay, imagine this, uh, you, you might think that those are very simple, but in this case, not essential in medicine, especially for suturing the body after surgery. As you can look here, yes. And also, yeah, for, for a doctor in medicine, they have to learn, you know, the technique, how to make this type of knot. Imagine with this tiny, you know, string. Okay, so that's why they're going to use this. And after, you know, a surgery, that's why you can look here, the picture here. Yes, there is also the need that they have to learn. So you see how important they are, but also those, that depends on the strength that they are going to, to have. So that's why um, those are very useful in medicine. Okay.
any here, as we were talking before, for decoration. So let's read it. Here it says, using knots to create decorative items has been practiced since ancient times. So macrame in particular has been gaining popularity over the past few years. Macrame is an art form, form in which people twist natural root fibers into knots. The result is both decorative and practical items. Macrame crafters often create things like hanging planters and shelves. Just a look in, yes? Also, this is like a type of jewelry, right? Look at this for jewelry. So like this, for hanging, they have the, you know, the planters and shelves, look at this. This is for decoration, as I told you. So in China, and that is, uh, yeah, this technique, uh, macrame, yes, they also call it like knotting. Yeah, if you want, you can Google that information that is knotting, and you'll find it a lot of very, very uh, beautiful, you know, art. Yeah, with this type for decoration, because that is part of their culture. Also, that depends, you know, the culture that they have, and they used to use a lot of knots. They make uh, this art, you know, macrame for decoration, using this, all the twists with natural uh, fibers that I use uh, to make, you know, this into knots. Okay, look at this. And you'll see a lot of, you know, very precious, you know, art that they have. Okay, and now uh, you might be wondering, why do I need to learn about uh, knots? Yes, why do I need? Let me tell you, as I told you, we use, we always make knots in our daily life. So here, what other professions needs? Yes, what are you going to, to, to learn how to make notes? Most of the profession, you know, in that case. So here it says, some professionals uh, use ropes, such as construction workers, linemen, look at this, the linemen, truckers, sailors here i would include you know the engineers industrial engineers you know here also five fighters yeah five fighters arborists so in here right so not not only made their jobs easier but they made them safe so for instance arborists use uh, timber each hitches or to tie around trees they need to tear down to tear down trees they use ropes and knots that are more flexible so they don't snap. They use uh, ropes and knots that are more rigid to climb trees so they don't fall. Imagine, yeah, this would be really dangerous if they make just like a correct type of knot, if they, if they don't use like a very, you know, like a very strong knot, so probably they could have an accident. That's why they need to learn, because in that case, they're more rigid to climb trees, as you can see here for the arborists, the ones that are used to, you know, do, to cut down or tear down trees. So that's why they're, they use, they make knots like this. Okay, because in that case, they are, have to learn how to prevent a, a how to, to, or to prevent falling down. Okay, so, and you might be thinking, but if I'm starting to be a, an accountant, I'm starting to be a lawyer, I'm starting to be an order attorney, so in that case, why do I need to learn this? But let me tell you that here also, that's a very important for you to know, because also just to to tie, a uh, tie, yes, to make a tie, yes. Or for girls, for about we're going to we're going to learn about this uh, later, yes. But that's why we need to make the knots. That depends on the careers, also for the engineers, yes, for the sailors at itself, yes, you know to to for the anchor, so they need also just to pull how to make real knots in this case. And now we're going to learn the types, the essential types of knots. Yes, as I told you before, they, there are like a hundred, yeah, like 50 or a hundred types of knots. And here we are going to learn, I'm gonna show you here only six. Then I want you to please go to a, a Telegram. I want you to go to the Telegram channel. I send you, yeah, there is a link. You're going to find there a link, yes? And in that link, uh, I'm gonna show you there. A, okay, let me show it with you my, my I'm gonna show you here my screen. I'm gonna share it with you because you already have it, okay? This is the link. 
you already have in 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 okay give me a moment please i just need to record yeah. here i don't know if you can okay in here yes i guess Okay, this is the link. I send you a link there via Telegram. So I want you to go, please go to the Telegram channel because there you will you will find there a link that is called animated animated knots. And in here you're going to find a lot of types. What type of knot do you need? So as you can see here, we have like the most uh, useful knots. We have the basic knots. It says bends and loops, hitches, mats, mid, mid loops, quick release, sliding grip, slices, super. And here, what you have to do is that you only have to click on it. Let's choose, for example, uh, this. Uh, let's see, hitches. I'm going to choose this. And in here, you're going to find all the type of nuts, as many times as you want to. Right here. And then you just have to click, for example, let's choose this one. Adjustable with itch. Okay, remember that you have, I already sent you this link. You have it in Telegram, in the Telegram uh, channel, okay? You already have the link. I want you to please visit, go to that link. Yes, click on the link and you'll find this. And here they give you step-by-step -step how okay the technique and how to make knots so in here you just have to click in here and they're going to give it to you you know step by step how to okay here you know since the beginning look at this okay and you're going to see yeah step by step how to make knots yeah okay so now we have another one the, the let's see this this is another another type of knot that we have okay and in here you are going to see the way yes how to make it. you know how important it is and in here you're going to find the technique on how to make it. okay so I'm going back, we're going back here, yes, in a couple of minutes. I just want, I just want to, okay, let's go back here to our presentation. I'm gonna stop sharing this and we're going back to our presentation okay, in here. And then we are going to continue with this, okay? So I just wanted to show you what are you going to find in the link, okay? That is the link is in, in the Telegram channel, okay? So. Essential types of knots. Here, this is this is there. Yes, if you if you just take a look to that to that uh, the link that I sent you, you are going to find this. So we have this square knot. It says it's just a combination of two twists, each locking the other in place. It's a it's, it is ideal for tying two pieces of rope together to create a one long rope. And the two twists create a quite quite a bit of friction between each length when we wait is applied. So here, okay, you're going to use when we're going to tie two, two ropes, okay? So in this case, just to create uh, one. So this is the thing that we use for the square knot, yes? Then we have the club hitch. Okay, this is the one that I just showed you there in the link. And it says the club hitch is three wraps of rope around an object with one of the wraps creating a lot of friction for holding the rope in place. While it can slip, in the addition of an extra overhand knot will usually keep it in place as long as there is tension on the line, okay? So this is another type that we have. As I told you before, I'm just going to show you three, six, only six. But there in the link, there are more than six. You had a hundred, you know, like types of knots that are really very useful for us to know. Then, Okay, here we have the bow line. This is another, yes, the bow line in here. It says, um, it creates a loop. 
So this is a loop, okay? Yes, a loop. And it can function as a hand or foot hold. So you wanna put your hand in there or your foot, yes. It also might work as loose slashing around a polar stay in the ground, such as for tidal or for a furry friend. This is one. Then uh, we have the sheet band. This is another tie. So when tying two ropes of variety diameters together, traditional knots don't work well. The thicker rope can rarely create enough friction on the smaller rope to hold it in place. For those cases, there is simple no replacement for the classic sheet band knot. The thinner rope cinches down on itself over the top of the thicker rope, creating a strong connection. Yes, so you can see here we have two types of rope, the thinner, yes, and then we have the thicker one. So the one that is, you know, bigger, so that's thick and then the thinner you know in that case so it, we are going to use this type you know uh, that depends also on only because they are different okay so uh, because traditional not says that they don't work well so we're going to use in this case because they are going to create like enough friction you know uh, on the small rope to hold it in in place okay so here we have uh four right well now let me show you here we have the other types okay it says uh two half each pitches yeah that's the one that is in there and it says tying two half hitches is a great way to hitch a rope to a pole or tree it's easy and quick to tie but also adjustable for increasing or losing tension of the line it also can be used to hold down a top large large object in the bed or or a truck if the tail end of a knot is used to create an anchor on the line okay so this is going to be the two half hitch hitches and then we have the fisher's man knot this is okay it said that uh, this is called a disney cast it said that it relies on creating lots and lots of friction by looping the working end of the line around the standing end several okay several times yeah several times okay in this case they're going to look here stand you know in the the same just no like rope okay this is going to be the fisher's man okay so before I continue i'm going to show you here a short video where they show us they're going to show how to make three types of of knots okay yes here I want you to please pay attention. <laughs> that is the bow line, yes? Bow line. That's the second one is full butterfly knot. That's the butterfly knot. That is number three, it's called bow line nuts. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay. So yes. Okay, as you could watch then in the video, right? They show only three types, three types of of uh you know nuts, you know the 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 technique of how to make those nuts, you see? Yes, some of them really uh, they look very simple, right? When you see the, the way they work on them, it's not that easy, you know. So that's why it's very important to know. And here I'm going to show you again. I want you to please go back. I want you to visit the let me stop here sharing this. And I want you please to okay so here yeah here let's go back please i want you to go back to the animated nuts to the link yes let's go to the main page yeah here it is right so in here also you're going to have here more as i told you before we have more i just uh maybe yes just, just like show you like six types of not that in here you're going to have more they're going to have you know the highway message the icy queen and you know rolling monitor pile super hunt monitor tension towel and also you are going to have they're going to find let's go back in here so that's why first they're going to ask you the type of knot that you need that if you scroll here down you're going to see all the type of knots okay so here it says okay so the type of knot that the uses that we have yes we have our you can find here neckties so we want to talk about it later and uh, decorative the, for decoration also you can find it here decorative knots yes look at this this is really amazing you know this is really art you know the chain, the cover knot, the corative. I remember that when I was younger, you know, we used to tie our shoes, so, you know, with different types of knots, and those really, you know, look fantastic. So in here, you're going to find a lot, you know, plenty of knots. Also, look at this type of, you just click on it, and they're going to show you the, and by step, how this is, these are for decoration. Yes, look. So if you love knots, you love this art because you know there is an art that is called knotting. So here you're going to find plenty of this type of information. Yes. Look at this. Okay, so here we have all the types that you can find. These are for decoration. Yes, decorative. Okay. Now let's see, we also, you're going to have a surgery for surgery, medical, remember when we talk about surgery for medicine, because as I told you before, this is a NAR. So you have to choose the NAR below or scroll down for more information. So in this case, we have the constrictor and around, ligature, yes, slip, you will find a lot so let's choose okay here the first let's go to the first one the same right in here and also below you're going to find more information that give you the uses because also we need to know yes because we did we cannot just use any any not just we have to know where to use it the options that you have to research it. also they give us the disadvantages the advantages okay and here at the bottom, your you do scroll down, you will find um video. Yes, a video. Welcome to okay. another knot tying demonstration from animatednots.com. I don't know if you this can video it, teaches right? you how to tie the surgical oh, constrictor not knot by tying it around the forceps. Place an artery for okay. I guess you cannot hear it because but you can just click in it. If you visit this, you will you can 
uh, here, okay? They're showing here how to make this type of knots. The same, all of them have uh, their, the video, yes? So for surgery. And also, I forgot to show you this, but what's the other one? Rope care. Also, we have the rope care. Yes, again, come on, ripping, coil, figure, flake, West Country. Okay, and the same, right? They give us the information about it, the uses, feature. Really, I really love this, uh, you know, website because in here we have a lot of information. So I invite you to visit it. Yes, okay, and now. We are going to talk about it, yes. Okay, let's go back to our presentation and within a few minutes, we'll continue with it, okay? I'm just gonna stop sharing this. And now let's continue with our presentation, yes, okay. Okay, then let's continue. Yes, now for you. Okay, let's do, continue. Now we have here the mother knot usage. So here, yes, it said that knots are still as important today as they ever were. We use knots in everyday life. Uh, in everyday life, from tying our shoes to tying a bow to place on a present, so here we have the example. This are like the modern use, yeah, because we have used this long, since a long time, you know, ago. But a lot of uses for knots are for neckties, you know. So if you're a lawyer, also it's important if you work in an office, as an accountant, as a lawyer, so you also need to learn, yeah, to learn how to make knots. So take a neckties, hair ties, braid hair also if you are a mom if you're a mother and you love you know like braid your your daughter's hair yeah this is another type of knot i really love because that is really an art yeah that some i have a nine years old daughter and sometimes when i have the time you know i used to watch videos there to learn how to braid you know the her head and she looks really beautiful because that is really yeah. so we need to take our time right and needed sweaters how many of you have uh, the that blessing or the opportunity to have uh, a sweater that probably was needed by your grandma your grand granny so that is really amazing right so that is another use so as, you, as i told you before you know so knots are every day in our life and this is very some something that is really basic for us to know Okay, but also we need to learn, you know, the technique because it's not as easy or as simple as it looks, right? Because probably you might think this is very simple, it's very easy, but it is not, okay? Because as I told you before, it says uh, they can prevent, you know, to fall down and even saving our lives. Yes, it can save our lives. Okay, so then here, uh, neckties, how to make ties. So if you work in an office and also, so I'm gonna show you here, Another um, a short. Uh, let me let me see if I have it in here. This one, please. Well, that was for okay. This one, and here they show us how to make not the test in here. Yeah, you guys, and also for girls, we can learn how to make this. Is one type of type, yes. Yeah, you get a lot of. Not to make selection watches. Yeah. Easy to talk. It's a No. Real. Being my turn off. My It's a smaller size. And therefore, it's perfect for the man of the modest proportions. The main characteristics of the Orient are it's a small size knot, so it's very easy to talk. Two, it will work well for both business and social events. Three, this knot works best with small portion collars, and if you're going to go for a particular collar style, a point collar is recommended. Start tying the orient knot by draping the tie over your neck. This knot will have the outside of the tie facing towards you. Adjust the tie until the wire is longer than the narrow. The exact length will vary based upon the length of the necktie and the height of the mirror. 
cross the narrow end over the wide end, then bring the wide in front of the narrow. Now take the wide end under and through the neck hole. Then bring it down with the loop formed in the front. Tighten the knot by gently pulling on the wide end while holding the knot. Bring the knot up to your neck by holding the narrow end while pushing the knot up with your other hand. Keep your tackle in order by pulling the narrow end through the key loop on the back of the tongue. Your necktie should rest between the top and middle of your belt. If it's too short, start with maybe the wide end low. If it's too long, start with the wide end higher. The oriental knot is incredibly easy to tie and a perfect alternative to the 40. It's a great choice for a man who likes a little bit smaller of a necktie. It's easy to tie and balances good with a coin call. For a detailed look at tying the oriental knot, check out Okay, yes. There you can find a lot of, I bet you know how to make knots, but if you don't know, uh, yes, here with the link that I sent you, here we have a lot we can find, yes, because you might be thinking, I really don't need to learn this. Let me tell you that you do, because for working in an office, that would be really useful and very amazing to, to know how to make this. So let's go back here again and here it says you know how to tie a tie it says tie a tie because tie as a verb and tie as a noun right right so that's why we have how to tie a tie okay well in here you're going to you as you can see here we have more types you have to choose the knot below and or scroll down for more information so in here they're going you will find a more it said we have the bow tie, the Windsor necktie, four in hand necktie, half Windsor necktie, Pratt, and a lot. Okay. So also it says which knot should I use? Because also if you don't know where, where to use here to give you more information, be more difficult on ties, and the classic one. So let's pick the first one. This one. This is the bow. Yes. And here also they are gonna give you give us step by step how to make you know a bow here. This bow. You no, know, it looks pretty simple, right? But now uh, as you can, yeah, probably you have seen there are like pants. We have those are like they are called paper pants, I guess, paper pants, and those uh, blouses where you have to to know how to make this type of knots, right? So those are really, really uh, useful. And then you look so pretty, right, with this. So about the tie detail, they give you orientation, the structure. They also give you the advantages, disadvantages with this. And at the end, you're going to find short video. So let's watch. This is a pretty short video. Yes, they tell us the step by step. Com. This how video to. teaches you how to tie a bow tie. Here, guys. Cross the long end over the short it. one and tuck it up under the short end against the neck and pull it tight. Fold the short end into a half bow and bring the long end down in front of this half bow. Then fold the long end into the second half bow and pass it into the loop behind the first one. Straighten the bow and pull it tight. For more information okay. about this knot and many others. Okay, yes. As you can see, so this is this side, guys. The website is really amazing because in here you're going to find all this information. Since videos, step by step, all the types. And here you have, okay, a lot of information for you to know. Okay, decoration, decoratives, uh, ties for girls. For men, how to tie a tie, for surgery, rope care, and all the types. So, as I told you before, there are like a hundred types of, and also they tell you where and why and when to use this because sometimes we don't know okay, what type of uh, knot uh, to use. We don't know where and when. So, that's why I invite you. I invite you guys to visit this when you have the time, please. I invite you to visit. Okay, then let's go back here to our presentation. 
here. Okay. Yes. Okay, so as you can see, guys, there, yes. Uh, how important, yes, how, is how to learn, you know, how to make knots. Yes, so probably at the beginning, you were asking, you were wondering, why should I learn how to make knots? In, every, in everyday life, since we were little ones, we learned how to make it, yes? And I really, and that is really interesting, yeah, depends on the job that you have. Also, if you were like in a very uh, tall building, also for the painters, painters, people who paint, janitors, people who is in charge of cleaning of the, you know, those buildings that are really tall, also they use, yeah, uh, this type of ropes. But, so those are really uh, very important for them because, uh, sometimes if they don't know how to make a very uh, well, you know, not in that case, so it's, it can be a kind of dangerous for them. Okay, so um, I want you, okay, so here, uh, this, this is a quote that it's, I really love this quote because it says that we learn the rope of life by untying its knots. So I really love this because I compare this because it says we learn the rope of our lives, you know, our life is like a very long rope, yes, like a very long rope. And it said that we learn this, how to walk through the rope, you know, by untying its knots. So here, knots probably could be problems or situations, you know, that avoid us or sometimes that it stops us, you know, uh, to continue. So that's why we need to learn how to un untie. So tie or make a knot and how to untie, desatar, you know, it's knots. So that's why in here, yeah, it's that we learn the rope of life by untying its knots. So I don't know how many knots you have in life because sometimes we have a lot of knots in our lives those could be like, you know, like a economic, you know, problems, situations, probably in our health, if we're suffering or something, a disease or problems with our family, you know, in our job, in our work, you know, a lot of situations that probably you are you are having now. But let me tell you that we need to learn how, you know, to untie its knots. So we need to learn. And how are you going to learn to untie this? That are alone. That depends on each situation. Yes, you can look for help. You can, you know, like ask for someone. You can go with a, you know, a spiritual, you know, person to talk to you. Trust another person. Go to a therapy. That depends on the situation. Yes, but we need to learn, you know, how to untie its knots because sometimes uh, that's life. About we are going to have a lot of difficulties in life, but we need to learn how to untie. We need to be very positive. We need to continue, yes, to get to our goal, okay? Everyone's goal, you know, we, every person has a different goal, a different purpose in life, so we need to know what our purpose is, in life, okay? So I want to motivate you guys to continue with this long road. Sometime probably your career, when you're starting at the university, this is a long road. We need to be on time when we pass every test, when we pass every exam, and finally, yes, we pass all the courses, all the classes, and you graduated. So that's a really great satisfaction that you're going to find. Okay. So, and in here we have uh, the Telegram channel. Uh, remember, we have two Telegram channels. Yes. So, it doesn't matter if you are in one or the other one because I send you the, the same information. Yes. I send you the same content. Probably uh, information can be can change just a little bit, but it's the same content. And also, I'm going to send you here all the presentation the PD, in a PDF document. Also, I'm going to send you the links of all the videos because uh, in, in two weeks, I guess, you're going to have your final piece. And there you're going to find, you're going to have your, uh, your final test. Okay. So uh, thank you very much for your attention, guys. I really appreciate your attention. And let's continue next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Thank you for your attention.